If you're wondering how to upgrade your NZXT Starter Plus computer to AMD, watch the video. Six, eight, Bravo. This episode is sponsored by 68 Bravo. Check out the merchandise store at merch.streamelements.com slash 68 Bravo. We've got a various selection of hoodies, shirts, mugs, and more. All proceeds help support this channel. Thank you. If you're wondering if a grandpa can game on some of today's popular titles, come watch the 6-8 Bravo stream on Twitch. I live stream every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And yes, I do occasionally win a game or two. Come watch this 50-something kick some ass. So my son approached me recently by upgrading his computer. He had an AMD motherboard, AMD chip, and he's got the 2080 Ti. But with my computer with the i9 processor and just the regular 2080 uh, i was always getting better frame rates than him in when gaming so he wanted to upgrade his to an i9 so he could get better than me so you know you know that competition thing always got to have the best computer so he showed me uh, what he was looking at ordering he was going to get the i9 processor the 9900k the same one i have and then he showed me the motherboard he was looking at getting. And I looked at the motherboard. The motherboard was for a 10th gen Intel processor. So it wasn't going to work with that 9900K. So I let him know. I'm like, hey, you know, that, pro that motherboard is not going to work. You have to get a different motherboard. He started looking online. And then I, I thought about it for a second. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, hang on. He sa I said, I'll make you a deal. I said, the motherboard I have in my starter plus I know it'll handle an i9 processor. How about I trade you my motherboard for your motherboard and processor? That way you can get just purchase the i9, throw it in there, and you're up and running. So he thought about it a little bit and then he took the deal. Uh, so after the trade, I ended up with uh, a Ryzen 7 1800X processor instead of the i5 six core processor that was in there uh, and when i got it a month or so ago it's only been a couple of months uh and also the motherboard it was an uh republic of gamers crosshair six hero motherboard so i figured i was helping him out so he didn't have to search for a new motherboard and uh Plus, it lets anyone know that maybe has a starter plus that are thinking about upgrading from that i5 processor to the i9. Uh, yeah, it does work because we switched it out and this computer's working great with the i9 processor on that MSI motherboard. So I, you know, I figured I wasn't making out too bad on the deal because the Ryzen 7 1800X is an eight core processor. So I was going from a six core to an eight core processor and it has 16 threads. So it should still be fine for obviously for just streaming, but I wanted to, I want to start beefing up my streaming computer to actually be my creation computer. And then what I normally game and create on now, I want to just have strictly for gaming. So this is that step I'm taking to have a creator streaming PC and just a separate gaming PC. So I did some research on the Crosshair 6 because, you know, even though that 1800X is a great processor, it's three years old. I was curious. I was like, well, I wonder what I can upgrade the processor to on this motherboard if I want to upgrade later on down the road, which I do, of course. Uh, and I found out that it, you know, it's, it's an AM4 uh, architecture. So it will actually, I, I can put a 3950 in there if I wanted to with 16 cores and 32 threads, which I'm seriously looking at. So uh, after we swapped out, so now basically my starter PC that I bought i'm sure i voided the warranty a week after i got it because i've already been putting so much stuff in and out of there so now the uh i guess we could just call it streaming pc it's not really a starter pc anymore the starter plus because the only thing left in there from the original starter plus 
is the 1660 Ti GPU and the uh, there was 16 gigs of RAM and I added another 16 so it's got 32 gigs of RAM in there now and now it's an AMD computer whole new motherboard whole new chip and on my gaming PC I, I've just got the 16 gigs of RAM I don't need more than that just for gaming and then it's got the i9 9900K and the RTX 2080 card. So when I got the motherboard from him, um, he has a water cooler that he used on it in his computer, but he was going to use that for the new chip, the i9 chip coming in. So the deep cool that I had cooling the i5 processor, uh, you know, he wasn't going to take that. He was going to use his liquid cool to liquid cool his i9. But the deep cool that I got from NZXT with the Starter Plus, uh, it didn't have attachments for AMD. Uh, you know, that's the only bad thing about getting a pre-built. You don't get all the extra attachments from the equipment that you put inside. So the only cooler I had that I could put on there, the NZXT, I had a the one I had for cooling my 2080 I had that liquid cooled so I took that off of there and put it on to cool the uh, 1800x on the AMD machine and then I put the original blower cooler back on my GPU so that lasted only a few days because the temps on that uh, GPU I mean just even idle it was like 50 degrees and then when I'm gaming it jumps up about another 30 degrees so it was at the 80 degrees Celsius whenever I'm gaming I mean it was just cranking out some heat which with my bad memory I remember why the hell I liquid cooled it in the first place so then I ended up taking the liquid cooler off of my i9 processor and I put that using the uh, the Kraken G12 adapter. I put that on my GPU. So I liquid cooled my GPU again. And I put the deep cool on the i9 processor. And I, I'm surprised by how cool just that, that air-cooled deep cool keeps that i9 processor. I mean, it's just as good as when I was liquid cooling it. So uh, the... The bad thing about that 2080 card I got uh, that came with my Alienware that I had bought the year before, not last year, I think December of the year. I mean, it, it, it's fairly new still, but with it, when I took it out of that Alienware, it's, it's got the blower in there. Um, the thermals are horrible on it. So that's why I had liquid cooled it in the first place. So I put the liquid cooler back on there with the, uh, NZXT Kraken X53 so now it had the dual fan liquid cooler keeping the GPU cool and I just have the single fan cooler on the AMD chip the only snag I ran into in this whole process was I wanted to vertically mount my GPU card again the way it was in there before but the deep cool is so big that uh, I, I couldn't put it in there vertically so I had to put it in there regular um, so I can't enjoy my RGB on my NZXT cooler but other than that yeah, it, that's the only bad thing about it so all is good it kind of balances out my machines they look a little better in the background there I've got you know some of the Corsair RAM on each one so it kind of balances out the RGB a little bit and uh, Everything's keeping nice and cool. And they're both running great. I've got links in the show notes down below for all the equipment I've talked about. The, uh, you know, the Ryzen 7, uh, the Crosshair 6, the Kraken G12, the Kraken X53, and then the Deep Cool Gamex GTE cooler that I have. So want to look any of that stuff up if you're looking at throwing it in any of your machines uh both are running great now of course 
because I have a problem, I'm always thinking about what can I do next. Uh, it's probably going to be upgrading that 1800X to a third gen Ryzen. And I'm looking at either the 3900X or the 3950. I don't know if I want to go 12 cores or 16 cores. Uh, but you know me, I'm probably going to end up with the 3950. So with as much stuff as I do on my computers, if you're thinking about getting a pre-built, you know, I love the NZXD computers, but uh, I I just shouldn't buy any more pre-builds because I change my computer so much. I should just build from scratch, get all the parts, because I'm constantly changing stuff, moving stuff back and forth. So, uh, you know, the Starter Plus is a, is a great computer, but pretty much mine is not a starter plus anymore so I guess I can't call it that it's just my streaming computer and my creation computer and then I have my gaming computer so thanks for tuning in stay safe uh, please subscribe like the video dislike it's your choice free country and uh, you know we'll see you next time with whatever I've done next so have a great day Bravo.